Hey guys, it's Keith here. Um, just wanted to share a couple of things I've been working on coming up in release 13 of X Lights. Um, the first one is I've re reworked the uh, display elements uh, dialog box. Um, historically, um, the dialog box really just had these things on the right hand side here. Um, the list of views and the list of models that are in that view. And these are reflected. Oops, do that again. Always do that. Uh, these are reflected here, and if you change to face sequencing, it, it automatically changes as well. Um, but I've made some enhancements. So first of all, I've created the ability for you to take an existing view and clone it. So you can just click on it, clone. It gives it a name, and I've now got two views that look the same. Um, Sorry, my mouse double clicks when I click it for some reason. You can also rename the views here. If you want to add a model into the view, you just come over to here to the list of available models, come over and drag and drop it, and it will add it in. If you want to reorder them, you just drag and drop them. If you want to add a bunch of them, you just highlight them, bring them over and drag and drop them. If you come over here and you want to move down to the bottom, you scroll to the bottom and it just moves down. Um, if you want to get rid of a bunch of models, again, highlight them, drag them over, and they're gone. Um, and all of that updates over here in real time. So it's uh, super easy to move things around. To, you know, if you want to select uh, you know, three models uh, separately and move them all up so they're together, dead easy to manipulate. No more jumping into the add dialog box to enter or select all the models. No more clicking an up arrow 27,000 times to try and move models around. Um, the models aren't all added at the bottom anymore. When you add them, they get added wherever it is that you choose to add them. So hopefully that'll save some people some time. Admittedly, you don't do this very often, but it'll save you a bit of time when you have to do it. The other thing I wanted to quickly show was some changes to imports. Had a bit of an epiphany last night and suddenly realized that I can actually um, make the import a lot easier than it has been to date. So um, I'm going to quickly do an import. Um, uh, I'll do a, an X light. So I want a Lilia's, Lilia's, new, Lilia's new Sanders coming to town sequence. Um, Come down here and choose XML. Santa Claus is coming to town. And so up it comes. So now with the mapping dialog, uh, you now have, instead of having a drop down field here that you can click on, instead what you've got is the list of models over here in a list over here. And when you want to map it, I can come down and I can do it a couple of ways. I can just click on tree, drag it over and drop it on the tree and it's now mapped. Um, uh, I can also, if I click on a cell and I've got one over here selected, uh, it will copy it over. If I click again, it will go away. Um, I can also click and drag it back to here and it will delete it. Um, so really easy to do. If I uh, come down to my star, which is a little bit further down here somewhere, I think, is my star gone? There it is. So if I grab my star and I drop it down, I accidentally drop it onto the tube arches. I can just come down here and drag it again and drop it onto the star. So no more triple clicking on each thing. Uh, no more having to re-scroll down the list to find the model. And I'll show that. So I click OK and we'll import it. Um, uh, that's probably not helping because I'm not on my master view. If I go to my master view and scroll down, there's all, there's my star that's come in. Um, and it also brought in my arches as well, wherever my arch tree. Oh, there it is. There's my arch tree. So it's all come in. So uh, the, the, let's do another import, but this time let's do um, uh, LMS, uh, an LOR LMS file. So we'll come down here. Uh, we'll go to Light of Christmas. Uh, help if I can grab an LMS file. So here's, I think this is the ribbon tree. Takes a little while to load as the LOR files always do because they're so large. Okay, there it is now. So again, uh, we have the, the list here. Um, 
when I do a mapping of a channel over to here, uh, notice the list doesn't scroll back, so I can easily move around this list and bring things across uh, very quickly. Um, this list also sorts, so if you click on the heading, it will it reverse the sort, it's just alphabetically. Um, I don't know that that will help you enormously, but it's there. And it really is just as simple as uh, dragging and dropping things across. If you want to apply the model multiple times, you just keep clicking until it just keeps copying the model down. So I, I think that's a lot faster to do than the old way where you had to click three times on the cell and have the drop down. And if you were trying to map something that was way down at the bottom of the list, you'd have to keep on scrolling up and down the list over and over again. So a very, very painful process. Um, the same works. Uh, at the strand and at the node level. Sorry, my mouse double clicks every time I touch it, so it's a bit annoying. Um, you can drag and drop it at the node level and it will do the mapping. And when you click OK, uh, if we scroll up here, you can see it's brought all of the data in. So I think that's a lot easier to use. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it when it comes out in 13. Thanks.